hope you doing your good and enjoying your life uh, welcome back to my channel alien tech champion if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel so i just came with at another video which is very interesting for all of you uh, being as a intune administrator so in my last video i have shown you how you can um, how you can set up your intune tenants and configure the how you can uh, configure your ios devices configurations and compliance profiles and policies and how you can deploy that right <clears throat> and before that we have uh, i have also made video on that uh, that how you can get the apple happiness certificates because that is the requirement to enroll into mdm um, in, in my, uh, microsoft into an mdm system right so uh, the next step is to and as you uh, can see to enroll any or to enroll and manage any ios devices you must have the apple apns uh, push notifications uh, 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 apple uh, push certificates uh, it should be integrated here then you will able to manage the uh, apple ios devices so the next step the first steps i mean uh, if you have not gone through that video uh, just go through i would recommend you to go through uh, and then this set up this uh, apns i have shown in the details <coughs> today uh, in this video actually uh, i am going to talk about how you can uh, how you can block or restrict the enrollment restrictions right uh, for ios devices so how how you can do that maybe most of you know uh, so this is actually in tune console uh, and point dot microsoft dot com uh, you have to go to click on the devices and then click on the enrolled device right enroll device and here you see there are, there are multiple uh, uh i mean all the endpoints majorly uh, we we as a uh, in microsoft intune support windows apple and android so today i'm going to say, uh, uh we'll talk about this enrollment device <coughs> restrictions right there is a restrictions like for device limit like if any organization so if you want to restrict the limit of how many devices per user you want to enroll you can click here right and you see by default limit is 5 and it's assigned to all users yes right so let's get create one uh, policy and you see <coughs> the devices must comply with the highest priority so this is the oh, since this is the default one so only one you can say so you can drag So let's first create this uh, any restrictions policy. So I am going to create for uh, iOS iOS device restrictions. Okay, device limit restrictions. So just do restrictions. Okay, and click next. And you can as if as specify the maximum number of devices a user can enroll. So <coughs> maximum you can select 15 so let's to be uh, for company owned devices too as you can select whatever uh, your or your organization wants but i am selecting two and then scope i don't have any scope so this by default it will apply to the default scope if you have created it will show here i will show you in the next video what is the use of that scope so scope means if you it is default so anything you creating like any policy profile apps or restrictions it will apply to default if you want to apply to uh windows devices or mobile operating system you can create a scope and so that it will that th this restrictions will only apply to those scopes okay click on next and then apply to the groups <clears throat> you want to apply some of the groups i don't have any groups you can create any groups so to uh to whom you want to write you you can only apply to the groups right so just select the groups and create it right so this is very simple and similarly like uh, enrollment device platform restrictions what is the enrollment device platform restrictions so this is uh, this is uh, 
this 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 is the enrollment when me which uh, like like let if i go if we are going uh, we, we are talking about the ios restriction so let's create the restrictions for ios so let's ios restrictions okay click on next and <coughs> you see this is here actually it's a uh, tricky most people actually uh, you need to uh, specify the platform configurations like if you want to allow mdm of course yes max minimum operating si minimum operating system like if you want to try 15.6.0 you can give her right minimum right 16 is available you want to allow personal of course so if you block this is the tricky here one so most people will think this is for BYD and this is for COD, right? <coughs> so here, by default, actually, Intune classify all iOS devices as a personally on. So if you want to classify as a company on, your iOS devices must fulfill the, the conditions. So what is the condition there? It's not here, right? So the, I will tell you the condition. The condition is you need to register the serial number or device IMI in uh, in the in, in in the here I will show you and then in the in the portal and or users can enroll through automated device enrollment formally actually we know device enrollment program or we call Apple business um, manager so if you are not pre-register the serial number of company owned devices then you should select yellow allow so if you're not leveraging apple automated device enrollment or abm or dp then you have to select allow okay so those even company owned devices will tag as a personal on but you can apply the profile right but if you are using only apple business manager or automated device enrollment program or you pre-authorizing or adding the serial number here which I'm, I'm going to show you how you can add that then you don't have to select allow right so so let so you know you I think you got it and then click and then assign to all the users you can easily select to all the users <coughs> and apply right <coughs> So this is the restrictions so I'm just going to cancel similar like for Android Mac OS or Windows so how you can as I have shown you the by default into and classify as a iOS so how you can identify whether it's a company owned devices so here you see there is two right corporate device identifier so here you have to you can if you have the csv file you can put all the information in the csv file and upload here or you can enter it manually i did enter so <coughs> not sure why it's very slow so you have to give it serial number or imi number so you see there is two options you can import file so if you select imi number you can give uh, something like anything I mean device serial number right and then if it's iPhone you can give it iPhone similar like iPad and give the serial number like this right and just hit add if you let let's be add here it's adding so if you have if you already have the list of devices with a serial number you can just import it here so and then disable that restrictions in the setting so all these um, if any of these uh, device will try to enroll into the Intune it will identify as a corporate but if you are not adding this serial number into the into here or not using automated device enrollment program then you have to select uh, the platform restrictions as yes right so <clears throat> this is the the tricky one and may most I have shown you maybe how you can apply the restrictions right uh, which is actually good, very good for all uh, organizations to know how you can apply the enrollment restrictions and how you can identify or 
identify or tag is a is a iOS devices as a company on okay hope man I have given some information for you uh, in the next video I will show you how how you can apply because this is uh, if I put uh, all the information in one video it the, the video will be longer right thank you and have a good day uh, keep exploring the Intune and my channel as well my channel name is alien tech champion thanks signing off Rajesh